Hey there, everyone. Welcome to Album Infinite, the music discussion podcast that explores an artist's career one album at a time. I wanted to put this out there as an introduction to the show to sort of give people an idea of what they can expect, explain why I'm doing yet another podcast, and uh, so I guess state in a somewhat succinct fashion and say as many S's as possible in a row. Uh, to state it in a somewhat succinct fas- fashion exactly what this is all about. If you've ever listened to any of the other podcasts I do, whether that's Limited Engagement, Hoot and Review, uh, even What the Fork, uh, then you know I'm a music obsessive. And what, well, what do I mean by music obsessive? That's a fair question. Uh, in my mind, a music obsessive is not just a casual listener, not just someone who buys a greatest hits collection or streams a song or two on Spotify. Uh, music obsessive is someone who lives with music, has a complicated relationship with music, uh, the sort of the sort of relationship that makes a romantic partner question your fidelity, or at the very least where your priorities lie. I also think of a music obsessive as a collector, even in the digital age. Uh, I currently have a collection of nearly 2,500 records and CDs, and it's not just albums, it's uh, also singles, EPs, live albums, the occasional bootleg, imports. I often have multiple copies of the same album uh, because there's a different track listing on the British version, or, or one reissue has some bonus tracks that the other reissue left out, or there's alternative artwork... Uh, or I know I I already have the album, but the one in front of me in the bin in the record store is in better condition than the one I have at home sitting on the shelf, so you bet your ass I'm buying this copy. Uh, an obsessive immerses himself in the music. Uh, in my uh, younger days, I suppose, uh, I have been known to, to pour over lyrics obsessively, uh, sitting on the floor with the liner notes, headphones on, um, you know, just really diving in there. And, and, and uh, as an amateur guitarist, I've spent hours going over and over the same section of a song and to figure out the chord changes, even though I know I could just hop up on the Ultimate Guitar website or whatever and, and, and look them up online. But I, I think you get the idea of what what I mean when I'm saying musical obsessive or music obsessive rather not obsessed with musicals, but music. Uh, I know I'm not the only person out there who, whose life is affected uh, so strongly by music. And I wanted to have conversations with, with other people who, who felt the same. And since it seems that I don't have conversations with people anymore, unless it's on mic, uh, album infinitum was born. The actual genesis of the show uh, was, was if you're curious, was a suggestion uh, from my friend Chris Ayers, who, along with a number of other uh, possibilities, brought up the idea of doing a, a song-by-song discussion of R.E.M. And although the, the lengthy, lengthy, lengthy conversation, the, the digression I had uh, when I was talking to musician and artist Doug Bale during his episode of Limited Engagement... Uh, about REM is proof that I can go on about them for some time. I honestly can't imagine doing that with any single artist, except maybe Squeeze. I could probably do a podcast exploring Squeeze song by song. Uh, well, not even probably. I know I could, uh, but but I don't know that I know anyone who could or would be willing to do that with me. Uh, and, but however, the conversation with Chris stuck with me and turned into this line of thinking, which was what if I focused on a single artist and it would have to be an artist that I thought was underappreciated or underrated, uh, whose career had not been thoroughly dissected and, I understand this is all completely subjective uh, and and it's largely dictated 
by the artists in my music collection, but it does immediately negate covering, say, Bob Dylan or Bruce Springsteen or the Beatles, artists who have a ton of books out there examining their work already, uh, and I'm sure have a number of podcasts of, about them. You know, they don't need any more discussion. Uh, so to, to take those artists um, and then go through that artist's catalog album by album, uh, which uh, also means no compilations, no live albums, it was strictly studio albums. And that appealed to me. As far as the, uh, the overall format of the show goes, Album Infinitum is going to be uh, relatively tight, especially especially when compared to uh, the other podcasts I do. Um, the conversations will be more focused. I will actually do research. Um, even this introduction is planned out, uh, just so I don't do my usual rambling around all over the place, which, you know just listen to the other podcasts. That's I, I, I do that quite a bit. Um, discussions will not only cover the album itself, but on its place in music history, which means, you know, what other albums were being released at the same time or in that, you know, that general, you know, the vicinity of the time of the, the date of release uh, during that, the year it came out. Um, and then also how it was received critically. Um, who else uh, is is playing on the album, um, and their kind of relationship to other things? You know, did this uh, artist play on the other artist's album, and you know, was it part of a specific kind of music scene or, or whatever? Uh, and then you know, even. What else is the album's producer known for? Who else did they work with? Is this somebody who regularly works with that person? Was it a one-off? Is it a big producer? You know, uh, engineer people, people who worked on that album, it, 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 and so forth. So it's it's going to be a deep deep dive into the album. Uh, so I, when I was coming up with the artists that. Uh, and you know that initial run of artists, I did put down a list of of about five artists or so that just popped into my head uh, that kind of fit that underappreciated, uh, under under discussed, uh, underexplored sort of thing. Uh, and then, uh, but the, two of them are done already, uh, and and those two are Amy Mann and Fountains of Wayne. Uh, each episode of the show is going to have a guest discuss the album with me. And uh, sometimes the guests will vary from album to album, which was the case with Amy Mann, or uh, in the case of a, an artist that a guest is particularly passionate about, like uh, musician Mark Oxborough, who you may know from, from uh, the Haymarket Squares and, uh, and Blood Feud Family Singers. Uh, he is a huge Fountains of Wayne fan, uh, so in cases like that, one guest might do an entire artist's catalog. Um, this is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really, really excited about Album Infinitum, and I'm happy to put these conversations out there. Uh, hopefully, this show finds an audience and sparks a dialogue uh, that, would, that would be the ideal outcome. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, suggestions, those can all be sent in to album. <laughs> I came up with the show name and and I have trouble saying it. Album infinitum at gmail.com. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at album infinitum, uh, all one word. Um, I don't I don't really know where I got the title from. It just popped into my head. It's kind of, you know, it's it's that that uh, phrase ad infinitum, but with album, I thought it was clever. And that usually gets me into trouble. <laughs>
Anyway, so the first artist up is Amy Mann, uh, and the first episode proper is 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 a discussion of her debut solo album, Whatever, uh, with my Hoot and Review co-host, Jenna Duncan. Until then, uh, go go out to a record store, buy an album, the experience can change your life. This has been a Hoon Waddle production. If you enjoyed this podcast, why not check out one of our other fine podcasts available from hootandwaddle.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or any number of podcast apps. If you'd like to support Hoot and Waddle and get access to an exclusive member-only podcast, receive discounts on merch, and more, go to patreon.com forward slash hootandwaddle.